Self-improvement. Who doesn't want to strengthen their skills and habits? But it can have a negative impact when our inner critic judges what we should do or should be all the time. That is a problem because one of the biggest factors to being happy is self-acceptance. What is self-acceptance and how can we work on being more self-accepting? Self-acceptance is the awareness of your strengths and weaknesses. The realistic appraisal of your talents, capabilities and worth and the feeling of satisfaction with yourself, despite flaws and regardless of past choices. There are some clear steps and techniques to achieve self-acceptance. Become self-aware and set an intention for acceptance by recognizing your thoughts, feelings and pain. Celebrate your strengths and accept your weaknesses. Consider the people around you in recognizing their positive and negative reinforcement. Surround yourself with people that accept you and believe in you. Forgive yourself. Learn to move on from past regrets and accept the choices you made. Also, shush your inner critic and stop rating yourself against others. Grieve the loss of unrealized dreams. Reconcile who you are now with the idealized image of your youth. Perform charitable acts. Give to others and recognize how you are able to make a difference in others' lives. Realize that acceptance is not resignation. Acceptance is letting go of the past and things we cannot control. You can then focus on what you can control in the here and now. Be kind to yourself. Cultivate self-compassion in not judging yourself or over-identifying with self-defeating thoughts and behavior. Keep believing in yourself. Use positive self-talk and positive emotion refocusing techniques. The path to self-acceptance can be difficult. External circumstances, past experiences and our programming can make it hard to accept ourselves. When things get too hard, get help from a loved one or professional. Self-acceptance is a great gift. In the words of psychologist Tara Bragg, the boundary to what we can accept is the boundary to our freedom. With self-acceptance, we can learn to live with our imperfections and be truly free and happy 